Hello, this is Yolanda, and today we're going to be learning how to make the little um, messenger bag. The beads are sewn separately, so they're not um, woven through the yarn. So anyway, this is a little bag that some of you had um, asked about. It's just a little short bag. It is um, sewn in several pieces, and then here in the middle, it is um, kind of square a little bit on the bottom, so you could put your things in there, books or whatever you want to carry. And you can make the strap as long as you want just to be able to um, carry it over your shoulder or on your forearm. Excuse me. So I'm going to be using Simply Caron. This is what I use for this. I'm going to use a different color because since I already have a dark blue purse, I want to have a different handbag so I could give it away as a gift later on in the year. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Please be, able to, please be sure to subscribe and let's get the party started. Hello everyone, to begin making our bag, I'm going to be using a size I hook, which is a number 9, and it's 5.5 millimeters. I'm going to be using the Simply Soft from Caron, and because I just love the way it kind of comes out kind of silky. Uh, this is just uh, one of their 6 ounce or 170 gram um, packages. And this is a color, the color I'm using is called Ocean 9759, but you can use whichever color of course you like. I think this is going to be really, I just love this color. It looks almost like a teal color. And on this video, I'm going to try something a little bit different since there's not too, the instructions aren't too complicated. I'm going to try to do it, I'll give you the instructions first in English and then I'll do them a couple of minutes later in Spanish. And I hope that doesn't confuse you, but then maybe you can learn a little bit of both of the languages, okay? So here to begin, we are going to do our slip loop and we're going to begin by pulling in our hook to begin our project. Okay, I finished doing my 80 chains and then I'm going to do one more. So I guess it's going to be 81 chains. One chain here and then on this it's going to be this whole, pr this whole bag, the stitch is a half double crochet. To do the half double crochet, you're going to have a lot of practice because that's all you do for this um, bag. So here, we're going to go on to the second chain away from the hook. So there's one, two, here's so where we're going to begin doing a half double crochet in each chain all the way across. So you'll have 80 half double crochets. To do your uh, half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, meaning you wrap the yarn around your hook. And then you're going to go here into that second chain. You're going to grab the yarn from behind there and then when you pull it up there'll be three loops of yarn on your hook and you're going to pull through all three loops. That is a half double crochet. You're going to do that every on every single chain all the way across you'll have 80. Let me show you one more time. You yarn over meaning you wrap the yarn around your hook. You go into your next chain. You're going to do it in every chain. Grab your yarn, you're going to have three loops of yarn on that hook and you're going to pull through all three loops, okay? Yarn over, go into the next chain, pull out the yarn, there'll be three loops, pull through all three loops. I want you to do that all the way across until you get to the end and you'll have 80 half double crochets. Ok, ya terminé las 80 cadenas que monté aquí, entonces para comenzar nuestras hileras voy a usar a montar una más, aquí 81, 1. Entonces aquí en la segunda cadena del gancho 1, 2, es cuando voy a comenzar a hacer mis puntos, ok. Entonces aquí vamos a hacer, uh, toda la bolsa se trabaja en el, la puntada que se llama medio vareta o en inglés se llama half double crochet, ok. La media vareta se hace así, voltea, poniendo el estambre, su lana arriba de su gancho. Van a tener aquí las, las dos lupas. Entonces aquí en la segunda cadena que esté, vamos a meter su gancho y va a sacar el estambre o su lana, ¿ok? Aquí va a tener tres ronditas, una, dos, tres, o lupas o lo que le llamen ustedes. Entonces aquí va a jalar con el hilo, va a jalar todas por todas las tres, ¿ok? Entonces en una, en la, en una uh, movida se sacan las tres. Una vez más le voy a enseñar aquí. Pone su, su estambre alrededor. 
mete su gancho, sáquelo aquí, va a tener tres, jale por todas las tres, ok, ya es la segunda medio, medio vareta o media vareta, se va a usar, se va a poner una, un punto de esos de medio vareta o media vareta en cada cadenita toda a través de toda la hilera, va a tener 80 de estas puntadas, 80 medias varetas, por favor hagan las 80 y cuando llegamos aquí al final voy a regresar y enseñarles cómo vamos a subir a la siguiente hilera y se van a hacer 25 hileras igual que esta. Ok, here I finished doing my 80 half double crochets. It was pretty long, but you can see it's all done. And so now here to go up, since this is a half double crochet, we are going to chain two. One, two, and then we're going to flip our work over. And we're always going to start in the very first chain, that same um, space, okay? So here, excuse me, no, excuse me. Here, when we go now, we're going to um, come here into the next space here, and you're going to do your half double crochet again. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Oops. Okay. And you're going to do that in every chain all the way across. So you should have 80 every time. And you're going to do this until you have 25 rows. Same thing, okay? You're just going to be half double crocheting there until you get your 80 rows. Uh, excuse me, 25 rows. And you're going to have 80 half double crochet and then you're going to have 25 rows. Remember when we finish this, this is going to be folded in half so then our this will be the size of our bag. If you think, let me show you, when you do your chain, if you think that it's too big and you don't want it to be this deep, because I like it to be about, you know, so that I could put books or whatever, so it is kind of deep. If you don't want it to be that deep, then you can do less chains. Um, it's really up to you. I, I like to have a good sized bag because if I'm going to carry, um, like I said, bad, uh, books or magazines or sometimes for work I carry files. Um, so I need to have it be a little bit deeper. So that's all you're going to do. You're going to do 25 rows of half double crochet. When you get to the end, remember, you're going to uh, when you get to your ends here, you're going to chain two, turn your work around, and then start doing your half double crochets beginning in that, um, that space there, okay? So go ahead and do that, and let me show you guys how to do it. Um, I'll say it in the instructions in Spanish, ¿ok? Aquí ya llegué al final de la hilera. Para subir, vamos a montar dos cadenas. Si no la quiere que esté tan uh, honda, la, um, que tenga tanta profundidad la bolsa, la puede hacer menos cadenas. Aquí montamos dos cadenas. Una, dos. Vamos a voltear nuestro trabajo. Y vamos a comenzar otra vez a hacer media varetas en cada cadenita, comenzando con este primero espacio que está aquí, ¿ok? Entonces, vuel volvemos a poner nuestro estambre alrededor del gancho. Sacamos aquí las tres. Jalamos por todas las tres. Y así vamos a comenzar en cada cadena, a cada punto en toda la hilera. Así que van a ser 8, 80 medio varetas. Y eso se hace hasta que tenga usted 25 hileras, ¿ok? Entonces, aquí siga haciendo eso. Cuando llegue aquí al final de su, de su hilera, va en el último, um, a la última cadenita aquí, va a ser su media vareta. Mont, monte sus dos cadenas, voltea el trabajo y comienza otra vez a hacer la misma, lo mismo que hicimos aquí. Y quiero que haga hasta que tenga 25 hileras. Así que vamos a terminar esas 25 y venimos a comenzar a poner la, las uh, diferentes partes de la bolsa. Ok, I finished my 25 rows, so it should be wide like this, and then you're going to fold it over when we saw our bag, ok? So once you're here, go ahead and cut off your yarn and fasten it off. Ok, ya terminé la 25 hilera, así va a estar de ancho, entonces ya cuando lleguenos aquí, cuando se vaya a coser se va a doblar con los lados derechos así, ok? Entonces ya en este punto... Ya nomás va a cortar el uh, estambre, su lana aquí. Y ya se va 
a amarrar aquí. Entonces esto, póngalo al lado y vamos a comenzar a trabajar en la agarradera. Ok, guys, set this aside and now we're going to work on the handles. The handles for this um, are not as long as I would have hoped, but it's just a little messenger bag. So here, um, you're going to need to have at least 40 chains on each side, so that's already 80. And another, this one had, I think it was like 90, but it wasn't long enough. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit longer. So here, we're going to begin. When we work our handles here then, we're going to put this aside and you're going to do a chain and the chain I'm going to be doing with the same size hook, the same stitch, okay? Um, here I'm just going to do a chain of 220 chains. So I know it's a lot but you're going to do 220 chains and you're going to do the same thing we did um, with the body a half double crochet okay so do two so go ahead and make your 220 chains okay mire aquí para la agarradera la, um, de los lados vamos a usar montar 220 cadenas y vamos a hacer el mismo puntado que se hizo para aquí o sea que un uh, medio media vareta en cada cadena comenzando en la segunda cadena de el gancho así que comience y haga su 200 20 cadenas ok, I finished my 220 chains and if you get to the end and you're like I don't know if that was 220 or 218 or don't worry, this is just approximate you do need to have a minimum of 160, ok so here I did my 220 chains and then once I do that we're going to start doing the same thing we did before doing a uh, a half double crochet in every chain beginning in chain the second chain away from the hook so we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook go into that one two the second chain and then you're going to pull out your yarn and there'll be three loops and you're going to pull through all three you're going to repeat this for every chain all the way across when you get to the end i want you to chain two turn around and then begin on that first stitch like we did for the bag. Same exact stitch, but this time we're only going to do four rows. So once you do four rounds, uh, your handle will be complete. You fasten off. Okay, mire, ya terminé aquí las 200 y 220 cadenas. Si llega aquí al final y no sabe si se confundió, no sabe si tiene 220, 221, 219, no importa nomás, es aproximadamente. Necesita un mínimo de 160 cadenas y así le va a quedar muy ajustadito, por eso hacemos las 220. Aquí vamos a comenzar, vamos a hacer lo mismo que hicimos con el cuerpo de la bolsa, la misma puntada, la misma manera. Entonces aquí en la segunda cadena del gancho vamos a darle vuelta a nuestro estambre, metemos el gancho aquí, en esa cadena sacamos la lana, vamos a tener nuestras tres ronditas allí en, la, en el gancho y va a jalar por todas las tres cadenas, es la primera media vareta. Se va a seguir así igual por todas las cadenas hasta terminar. Ya cuando llegue aquí a su última cadena, va a montar dos cadenas, voltear su trabajo y va a comenzar a trabajar otra vez como lo hemos hecho anteriormente aquí. Entonces sería en el, la primera cadena. Esto lo va a repetir por cuatro hileras total. Ya cuando te, termine las cuatro hileras, corta su lana y ya lo amarra como lo vamos a hacer. Y vamos a movernos a poner um, esto junto con la agarradera. Y entonces ya vamos a terminar a ajustar aquí lo que va de enfrente. También le voy a hacer aquí, antes de poner la guerradera, voy a poner una bolsita opcional aquí en medio. Y le voy a enseñar cómo, eso, cómo se hace eso. Eso no es requerido, pero tal vez le guste cómo salga así. Ok, once we finish the handles, we're going to do four rows for the handles. And then we're going to put it together. However, I'm going to teach you guys how to make an optional inside pocket here. Um, you don't have to put it on. I'm going to show you how to make the rectangle in case you want to put um, a pocket inside. So you could put your cell phone, maybe your wallet, something that you want to have quick access to. 
then the rest um, we will sew. So go ahead and finish those uh, half double crochet all the way across. You're going to do four, four rows, okay? Okay, I finished my um, strap here, my purse strap, and I just fastened off. So you should have four to five rows, whichever you prefer. If you want it thicker, you could do it thicker. Um, aquí ya terminé la tira para la agarradera de la bolsa para poderla poner abajo del hombro. Aquí ya nomás corté la lana y ya estoy lista para juntarlo con mi bolsa. Okay, so here is our long piece of our, that's going to be the body of our, our purse. And I want you to do, what I want you to do is from, from one inch in, you're going to count 37 and you're going to put a stitch marker there. You can put a piece of wool or whatever you have or yarn. And then also on the other side here, I'm um, stitch 37 because we want to make sure that we put our handles exactly the same, okay? Aquí vamos a, antes de poner la, la manguera, la agarradera aquí, van a poner al, con algo, con marcar el punto, la cadena número 36 de la orilla, el número 36. Y aquí también, um, discúlpeme, 37. I'm sorry, it's chain 37 here. So you're going to go down 37, put your stitch marker there on both sides, okay? Discúlpeme, es en la cadena 37 van a poner. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to get one end of your handle. Let's start with the end that doesn't have all that um, yarn. You're going to lay it here, okay? And now we know that we're going to start there, okay? Entonces, aquí, so here, once it's there, I know where it's at. I'm going to count my 37 chains here. One, two, three, four, five. And then here on the 37th chain is where I will slip in my yarn and I will begin connecting my handle, okay? Aquí, miren, van a contar desde la orilla de la, man, de la agarradera las 37 cadenas igual. So here you're going to count 37 and put in your stitch marker here. Aquí voy a contar las 37 y voy a poner el marcapuntos allí para saber en dónde tengo que juntar la agarradera. If you want to sew them on, you can. I'm going to be slip stitching them because I don't like sewing that much. So then I'm going to put my markers here on both ends of my handles, okay? So, póngala aquí, el mar marque 37 en los dos lados de la, esta tira de, para su agarradera. Okay, I put my stitch marker here on the number 37 chain. Ya puse aquí mi marca punto en la cadena 37. So, now I'm going to line up this edge here with the first chain here, okay? Because we want to end... See how it matches up evenly from here, and then we end where that stitch was at. Okay, so now I'm going to get my yarn, and I'm going to put my yarn through. I'm going to begin that one here. Through my the first chain here, which is there, through both of the loops there. And then through my chain here, the 37. And then I'm going to attach my yarn. Mira aquí, ya puse el marcapuntos en la cadena 37. Entonces aquí voy a meter mi gancho en la primera cadena de la bolsa, de la hilera de la bolsa. Y la voy a meter aquí donde está el marcapuntos número, la cadena 37. Y allí ya voy a juntar mi Lana. Okay, guys, so go ahead and connect, attach, oops, I got a little piece of the purse there. Aquí ya van a juntar la lana, so go ahead and attach your yarn there. If you prefer to do this by sewing, you can. Si prefiere usar costura para un hilo, se puede, uh, yo lo voy a hacer con un punto de lisado. I'm going to be slip stitching, or excuse me, just single crochet, I'm sorry. Um, con un medio, un, un punto bajo, okay? So here, I got my, let me see if I can get closer for you guys. And if you're not good at sewing it, then go, if you're not good at crocheting it this way, go ahead and sew it. I've attached my yarn, 
I'm gonna just do one chain just to get started. Hago una cadena nomás para empezar. Y entonces aquí, right here, you're gonna go through your chains and through the next two loops, okay? So you're gonna see your loops there. Let me see if I could show you. See how here we attached it. So that's our first one that's attached. If you want, you can go back into it just to make it stronger there, okay? Allí nomás metí otra vez para hacerlo más fuerte. And now, I'm going to do a single crochet. Make sure you get the front and the back. Okay, so here, I'm going through both that one and the back one. And now, I'm going to pull it up and just do a single crochet. Go through both the, the front one and the back one. Okay. And you do your single crochet. Así se va a unir. En cada cadena vamos a ir por la cadena de enfrente que está aquí. A ver si se puede ver. La cadena de enfrente y las de atrás. Y ya nomás la jala y hace un punto abajo. O sea, un punto medio. Un single crochet. Hasta llegar hasta su punto aquí y aquí se va a unir toda la cadena. So you're going to continue doing that until you get to the end and you should be here at the stitch marker. They should be the same because remember you're doing one in each one. You're attaching it all the way. So go ahead and join that to here. Then I will show you how we go around, do the bottom, and then we're going to come back and do the same thing on the other side. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Okay, entonces siga. Haciéndolo, uniendo su trabajo, una, un punto en cada cadena. Se tienen que linear aquí. Asegúrese que no está haciendo las mismas cadenas. Um, o sea que está bien así. Mire que aquí ya sigue la siguiente. See how this one lines up? The next one's right there. Okay, one. La que sigue. The next one. So you're going to do that all the way down. Hágalo hasta llegar al fin de esta tira. Ok, here I've come to the end. Mira aquí ya llegué al final. And there is our stitch marker and that's our last chain. So see, that did work. So now here, we're going to sew, continue this way. Uh, remember how when we did this corn, the corners that we did like, we did one on the ridge, one in the middle, and that way we're going to kind of do something not quite as marked because it's a single, um, a half double crochet. So here in the corner, I'm going to put an extra stitch just to make it strong. Aquí en la esquina, voy a meter otra medio punto nomás para que esté fuerte. So now, I'm going to move this up. Ahora mueva este pedacito así. Kind of like when you're sewing your corners, okay? If you guys, those of you that sew. So, aquí, déjala pongo más cerquita. I'm going to put this closer so you guys can see better. So, when I came to the end, I just, re I did another extra uh, single crochet in the corner to get it nice and strong. Now, you're going to move your purse up like this and line up those little chains there. And here, we're going to go into our front chain, okay? And we're going to go into those ridges. No más, you're just going to work it in. It, this side is not going to be perfect. You're just trying to get the to go up. Aquí no más vamos a trabajar medios puntos donde pueda meterlo. Aquí, o sea que yo lo más lo estoy metiendo en la cadenita de aquí y ya no más estoy trabajando. So just try to work those chains in. They're not going to be perfect because this is the post. It's not an actual chain. So here... It's probably going to be my last one. Aquí ya es la última. So here in the last stitch here, try to do, I'm going to do two just to get the corner nice and strong. You don't have to do that. That's optional. But sometimes if you carry books, it gets a little heavy. Okay, so here we've shaped the corner. Aquí ya hicimos la esquina. ¿Ya ves? Como se da, le da forma. So you've given it shape there. You've given it form. So now here, when you get here to the corner, I did my two single crochets. You're going to just move your, here's your hand back here now. Let me see that, let me move out so you can see what it looks like. So here, 
is the purse, the strap that we did. See how it's shaped there? We went around the corner and now we're going to put this, the front part of the purse there and you're just going to continue doing your single crochets in each chain. You get into the front chain, get the chain sections from the back and you're going to single crochet. Aquí nomás va a seguir haciendo lo mismo que hizo aquí atrás. Suba la, la parte de la, aquí, de la bolsa para arriba. Aquí está la agarradera y ya está, da, está dando forma. Y aquí sigue uniendo la cadena de enfrente. Aquí ya está la siguiente. Let's see if I get closer. Aquí está la cadena de enfrente y la que sigue de atrás. Y da su punto medio. Siga hasta que llegue hasta el final aquí. Y en la última, póngale dos puntos para hacerla fuerte. Do all that. Continue doing that until you get to the end. When you get to the end, um, do like two, maybe reinforce it with two uh, single crochets in that corner. And then you're going to tie off your yarn. You're going to repeat that on the other side for the other handle. Okay, now you can see that I finished attaching my first handle here. Mire, ya acabé de poner la primera agarradera aquí. And so you see how that works. And it's kind of um, gives it that shape there. This will turn the purse inside out when we're done. So you're not going to see this is the, um, the inside of the bag. So when you turn it out over, it's just going to look like this. And you won't be able to see those stitches. See? It's going to be nice and smooth. Mira aquí, esta parte es la parte de adentro o el revés de la bolsa. Así en la misma manera va a poner la agarradera en el otro lado. Estas no se van a ver porque es lo de en, adentro de la bolsa, solo que queda... Ay, discúlpenme el teléfono, solo que quiera dejarla así. Pero se, cuando ya está terminada la bolsa se va a voltear al derecho y ya no se van a ver esas costuras. Ok. Ok, so guys... If you want to leave it with the stitch marker for the, the seams looking uh, showing on the outside, you can. I think it looks neater through the inside. So now you're going to get your handle. You smooth it out like this to make sure it's not twisted. Okay. And then you're going to put it on your next end here. And you're going to repeat the same thing that you just did on the other side. Okay. Ahora van a agarrar la agarradera aquí. Se lo va a unir al otro lado igual como hizo esto. Agárrela así, pásela por sus manos para asegurarse que no esté volteada o que si no va a estar uh, mal. Entonces ya así uh, va a abrir su trabajo y aquí comienza a unirla como lo hicimos en esta, la otro lado. Así y ya van a tener las, las dos puestas y esta es la, la parte donde se pone abajo del hombro o a través del pecho como la quiera cargar su bolsa. Entonces, únala así y ya va a estar esta parte acabada. Ok, you guys, so attach your handle this way, the same, it's the same thing we did on this side, ok? And then once we do that, I'm going to show you an optional little um, piece that you could sew in here if you want to have a section for your, like a cell phone or wallet that's optional. You don't have to put it. I always like to have a little pocket inside my bags so I don't lose my phone in the bottom once everything's in there. Okay, cuando acaben de ponerse, les voy a enseñar cómo hacer un pedacito de una bolsita aquí para que se pueda poner como un teléfono celular, la cartera, alguna cosa que no quiere que se le pierda adentro de la bolsa. Es opcional, pero a mí siempre me gusta tener un pedacito, una bolsita aquí. Siempre se me pierde el teléfono y así ahí la meto el teléfono o tal vez su cartera o lo que sea. Ok, so te, termine el otro lado y seguimos a poner este pedacito. Ya la última parte va a ser cómo poner la parte... a uh, esta de la bolsa. Okay, the last part then would be how to put in our flat front flap, okay? Okay, this is an optional step. If you want to do this, this is not required. But I made a little rectangle. I added 25, I did 25 chains. And then on the third chain from the end, I began doing 
a double crochet in every chain all the way across. When I got to the end, I did three chains to go up, turned my work over, and then began on that very first stitch there to just do my next double crochet. I did that, so and then I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So it just shape made a little rectangle. And like I said, this is optional, but I like to have something in my purse inside that I could put in like my cell phone would fit in here or maybe a wallet or your lipstick, a little notepad, whatever you want. And so what I would do here, just, uh, this is the wrong side. See how the stitches are there? You're going to sew it onto the wrong side. Just kind of um, put it on there somewhere. I put yarn into my tapestry needle, the matching yarn. And then I'm going to sew this. I'm going to pin it on. I'm going to use these rows as a guide. So there's my guide there. Then my other row here. I'm going to pin it on and then just sew along these three edges. Making sure not to catch the back. So once you pin it on, then you would just start sewing your, your pocket on there. Leave this open. Tie it off and then sew in your tails and you'll be done. And you'll have a little pocket that you could put into your... Um, inside your bag to hold all your items. Okay, mire, aquí hice para, voy a ponerle una bolsita en medio, es opcional, no es requerido, pero con esta bolsita me gusta ponerlo porque puedo poner un teléfono, puedo poner una cartera, a lipstick o lo que sea que necesita aquí. Entonces lo que hice, hice un rectángulo, monté 25 cadenas y entonces ya cuando llegué aquí, En la tercera cadena del gancho, comencé a hacer varetas. Entonces puse 25 varetas aquí, digo, um, uh, hice 25 cadenas. En la tercera puse mi primera vareta y hasta llegar al final, aquí para dar vuelta, monté tres cadenas, volteé mi trabajo y en la primera cadenita aquí, comencé a hacer varetas. No va a estar completamente perfecto. Pero puso, puse ocho hileras. No tiene que hacerlo si no quiere. Entonces aquí nomás lo voy a poner. Esta es la parte de, de adentro de la bolsa. Aquí voy a poner usando esta, estas líneas como guía. Voy a coser mi bolsa. Puse mi aguja con mi lana aquí. Y voy a coser la bolsita aquí en los, esos tres lados. Ok, ya cuando termine poniendo su bolsa su bolsita, entonces ya nada más amarra y cose las colas. Aquí voy a poner, si quiere puede poner, um, si quiere puede poner uh, alfileres, pero esto le ayuda a las líneas aquí para seguir la costura aquí. Entonces ya cuando termine va a tener un lugar en donde poner su cartera. Usted la puede poner más, yo creo que si lo pongo como aquí en medio. Ok, eso es opcional. Voy a poner esta bolsita y luego después ya vamos a terminar con la parte que va aquí en nuestra bolsa. Ok, so I've sewn on the pocket here. Ya cosí la bolsita aquí para adentro. So this is the inside part of the purse. Esa es la parte de adentro de la bolsa. Now we're going to start working on the flap, ok? So what I'm going to do is turn the bag inside out. This way. So now, my little purse that goes there where I could put my phone or uh, wallet or lipstick, whatever you're going to put in there. And this is the back. So we want to attach the flap that goes to the front on here. Esta ya la voltea al lado derecho. Aquí adentro está la bolsita. Y queremos poner, comenzar aquí para poner la parte que se va a doblar arriba de la bolsa. So here, what I want you to do is that I want you to get to your first stitch here on your right hand side. Make sure that this is in the inside. You're going to go there to your very first chain and that is where we're going to attach our yarn. Okay? So you're going to attach your yarn there and we are going to make eight rows of double crochets. Aquí vamos a poner nuestro estambre Y quiero que hagan ocho hileras de, de varetas uh, para, para esta parte aquí. So here, to begin, we're going to crochet three chains to go up. 
oops, here, those other little pieces are there. So it's going to go one, two, three, okay? But it said tres cadenas. You're going to wrap your hook, and then here, um, these are not, remember, like when we did it before, these are the posts. So you're going to do one here, double crochet in the ridge. Okay, see the little ridge there? The next one would go into the post. Okay. Then the next one is going to go into the ridge. And you're going to do that all the way across. Okay, la primera cadena, la primera vareta va a ser aquí en este huequito, la segunda adentro del poste y la otra aquí en el huequito. So, here's my next one. It's going to go here in the next um, little um, space there. So just work them out in there. They're not going to be perfect because they're not actual perfect chains. Aquí nomás haga, trabaje las varetas. No va a estar perfecto. And you're going to go all the way across. Okay, here. Sorry about that. So here I'm just trying to work in chains. Like one will go here in the ridge, one in the middle, one in the ridge, one in the middle. Okay? Así que... Aquí nomás trabaje las varetas, una aquí en el huequito, otra en medio, y así nomás hasta llegar hasta el otro lado. Nomás trate de trabajarlas allí, no va a estar perfecto, ¿ok? Ok, when you get to the end, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and you're going to turn your work over and start doing your double crochets here. Cuando lleguen aquí, montan tres cadenas. Ya cuando llegue al final, voltee su trabajo. Y aquí vamos a comenzar a hacer la segunda hilera. So here I want you to start your second row. Just starting here en la primera cadenita aquí. Go all the way across and you're going to do this for um, six to eight rows, depending on how, how long you want your flap. Aquí va a seguir haciendo esto por seis a ocho hileras depende de cómo quiere de larga aquí la parte de enfrente, ¿ok? Voy, I'm going to finish all my rows, then I'll come back and show you how to do that little trim work. Vamos a terminar las hileras y luego regresamos para hacer los piquitos. Ok, I finished my six rows. Now I'm going to start doing the, we're going to start doing the trim here, this trim. Remember the beads are optional. The beads are not crocheted in. They're actually sewn in. And I used um, a little like invisible thread. It looks like it's almost like plastic. And I just did these individually. So I did them here, here, here. And then I just did the um, knot and clipped it. I don't know if you could see maybe. Can you see the, the plastic line? I don't know if you can see the plastic um, thread there. I don't know. But anyway, that's totally optional. But I, I like the way it looks. Um, ok, um, ya terminé, vamos a comenzar a poner esta parte aquí, la orilla, las, uh, estas uh, cositas las puse con un hilo que es como de plástico, no sé si lo pueden ver aquí, uh, porque es transparente, y los puse individualmente aquí, este, este, aquí se puede ver poquito el hilo, entonces eso es opcional, uh, si quieren ponerlos, ahorita vamos a hacer esta orilla. Okay, so since you finished here, now when we're here at the end, we're going to do six chains, okay? Vamos a hacer seis cadenas. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to skip the first chain here and the next one. And then on the third chain, you're going to do a slip stitch. Aquí, dejes sin trabajar estas dos. Y aquí va a ser un punto deslizado. So you just slip stitch it in there, and you repeat that all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to skip two, one, two, and then your next one, you're going to slip stitch it there. And you're going to continue that all the way across. Aquí, mire, ya hice los seis, y deja dos sin trabajar. Deja estas dos sin trabajar una dos y en la tercera cadena pone su punto deslizado. Haga por toda la hilera. Go ahead and finish this all the way across. 
Okay, here I've reached the end. Aquí ya llegué al final. We're going to do six chains. Vamos a hacer seis cadenas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now we're going to turn our work over. Volte su trabajo. And now here, we're going to count on the chains below. One, two, three. And in there, we're going to slip stitch. En la tercera cadena de abajo aquí, vamos a cerrar con un punto deslizado. You're going to slip stitch there, okay? And here's where you would be able to put your beads. Now here, you're going to do six more chains. Seis cadenas más. Three, four, five, six, okay? And then you slip stitch into the middle chain of the loop. Y aquí, un punto deslizado en la tercera cadena. You're just going to do it in the middle one. And this is creating those little uh, peaks for you. And you're going to do that all the way across. Y hace todo por toda el era aquí. Mira, el, the third one here, en la tercera cadenita. Oops. Did it, it missed it there. Six. So. Para que puedan ver. You can see here. So then you do chain three, chain six. You slip stitch into the middle post here. And it's creating that shape for you. Right here, then I would go into the third one. One, two, three there and then I would slip stitch here and continue to my next chain so let's do that till you get to the end continue así hasta el final okay I finished my last six here ya acabé las seis I'm gonna fasten off now you would just sew in your tails tiene que coser estas colitas toda and, and all your purse now you can just flip this over here, see, and your bag is done. Um, if you want to do uh, the beadwork here, you just sew that on. I'm just going to sew it on in a couple of places, and um, that's optional. But other than that, the bag is done. If you don't like sewing, then that's probably not going to be for you. Si ya quiere, así ya está terminada la bolsa. Si quiere poner aquí... Estas cositas las voy a poner nomás en una o dos. Es opcional. Si no le gusta a coser, entonces yo creo que esto no va a ser para usted. Pero ya está terminada. So you're all done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on the beads just like I said, just in a couple of spaces, just so you can see how I do it. And then it'll be done. So I hope you will subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a little bit tedious doing this many things. Um, but it's such a cute little bag, see, with the little bag inside. Ojalá le gustó este video. Por favor, suscríbase y ponga el dedos arriba. Gracias. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this new format wasn't too distracting. If it is, let me know and I just continue to do the way I've been doing. Thanks so much. Okay, to sew the beads on, I use this um, thread. Para coserla use este hilo. And it's really like more like a plastic. It's called invisible thread. And um, it's like a lot of yards in here. So you usually use it for a uh, serger and it has a little sock that goes over when you put your serger on. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using. And so I'm going to thread my needle. I've taken out some beads that I'm going to be using. And like I said, each one is put on individually, each loop. So it is uh, quite uh, uh, tedious, but if you like it, it's going to be uh, really fun. So I have my, yaw my thread. You can barely see it. It's invisible thread. And then I just put in my beads in the order that the pattern's going to be. So here I'm going to do the little bead first. And then another white bead. And you can do them all individually or you can just do them all at once. It's up to you. Um, whichever way you want. Let me do it individually so I could show you what I'm talking about. So here, 
would be the beads that I'm going to put in first. Aquí están las que vamos a poner en el primer lugar aquí, okay? So then once you string them there, that's the, the pattern I'm going to have. I'm going to just start, maybe I'll put it here in the middle so you could see. Let me get closer. Oops, got a little bit too close. Okay, so here I have my knee, my thread, my beads are on there. I'm going to pick up here. I want to put them in the middle. La voy a poner en el medio aquí, okay? So you just thread it through there and there's your beads hanging. You see that? Now, you're just going to um I, I just do it through there maybe a couple times. Póngala como dos o tres veces. See there? And then I just um, make a knot and cut off my thread really close to the, to the yarn. Move my needle. And there it is. Just like that. I s cut this again. I mean, just make uh, several knots. I don't know if you guys be, um, sew your beads on differently, you can do that. But this is um, not even going to show if you use invisible thread. And if you don't want to keep cutting it off every time, you can just hide your needle, like sew through there and go to the next space. Um, whichever you want, but there it is. Just cut your thread carefully not to cut off the bead. And there it is. See, you just cut it off. Yes, see? Ya se puso. Se cortó y ya está lista. So you just do that there. I did that in, in every, like I did one in every here on the ends and then I'm going to do it here. And then, uh, like I said, that's totally optional and that's really th what I did. There's no big secret on how I got the beads on. That's just how I just sew them on. So I will sew them on, show you how, when it's done and hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Okay, my bag is ready. It has the beads. Like I said, this is optional. I just like the way it looks. So I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Ya está terminada la bolsa. Ya le puse aquí todo lo que le va a poner la decoración. Por favor, suscríbase y ponga un dedos arriba. Gracias.